Well, one was a helicopter mechanic during the Vietnam War. The other served in Korea. Now, they didn't know one another, but the two unclaimed veterans were buried side by side today at Sarasota National Cemetery. That cemetery honored their sacrifices they made for their country. And as Fox 13's Jennifer Holton reports, dozens of strangers came together to ensure their final send-off was nothing short of special. Oh, that's tears of happiness. It is. It really is. Army veteran Sandy Gessler has been in tears all morning, with good reason. We have a motto that says, leave no one behind. And this is what we mean. Words that became actions Thursday afternoon. Two unclaimed veterans, Albert Hall, who fought in the Korean War, and Manny Fluker in Vietnam, were laid to rest side by side at Sarasota National Cemetery. We don't leave them at a funeral home unclaimed. We will claim them. We will bury them with honors like they deserve because they're our heroes. Though both had lived in the Sarasota area, Fluker, a Vietnam helicopter mechanic, had been homeless for 30 years. And the guy was, everybody loved Manny. He never asked for anything. James Smith forged a relationship with Fluker after meeting him on Main Street two years ago. He was very humble, very nice. He, 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 had, he lost some of his mind in the war, but he didn't lose his heart. Not much is known about Hall, other than the fact that he served in the Army. Gessler accepted his flag at the ceremony. She says the last thing she wanted was for these two men to be buried in a pauper's grave. The county has sections of cemeteries, plots, um, for those that can't afford a funeral. And we call it pauper's grave. But no veteran should have to go there. Dozens gathered here today, mostly strangers, who ensured that would never happen. In Sarasota, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. As word spread in the last week about Hall and Fluker's burial, the American Legion was able to track down some of Fluker's family members who were present for his funeral today. The sheriff's office says some of Hall's family has also come forward in the last day.